Alright guys, welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. We have just done as much in the northern part as I could f do with markers on the map. I don't know, sometimes this seems to be buggy. You're flying around, you use Revelio on the broom and then these are shown as like not completed and then I fly up there and then this little check mark appears. I think we're pretty much done. The Hamlets are already done. We've done all the demigeises I could find in the Hamlets lists. So of course we're not like done done, but um, good enough I would say. So that I can now with a good conscience say, let's hop back into side and main quests. I'm looking forward to that. We had a little post like mail from a person Mr. Pierce Pemberton, who is frustrated that I've been taking the moons from the demigod statues. I should pay him a visit in Hogsmeade. So this is what we're gonna do now. Let's go. Hogsmeade. Uh, and the quest was where exactly? Here. Let's go. We have a person to meet. Pierce Pemberton. So... Pardon me, sir. But about those curious demigod statues I've seen. What? Who are you? Why do you ask? You wrote me a letter, sir. I find them intriguing. <laughs> she and her bloody intriguing, right? I find them intriguing. They're terrorizing Gladwin Moon. They're causing Mr. Moon terrible distress. Ha! Good. That was the idea. So you did create them. I... Uh, yes, I did. It was a ploy to give that pathetic oaf Moon a taste of the grief he caused me years ago. You are the one who's been pilfering them. I am, you, yep. at the request of Mr. Moon. I received your owl on your station, me. <clears throat> ah, well, fitting Moon would enlist a student. Too cowardly to do it himself. <laughs> Hasn't changed a bit. Even when we were at school, he was a cowardly bully. Gave me a horrible nickname, which I shan't repeat. I was thrilled when we left school and he seemed gone for good. Then I started seeing him around Hogsmeade. It was too much. Even if I do take satisfaction in that his life's destiny was to be a lowly caretaker. Hogwarts caretaker is an important job. He's too big for his boots. Mr. Moon does a good deal for the school and he's taught me a lot. He's terrified of those statues. <laughs> I know. You should have seen his face when that boggart appeared. Oh, priceless. That's when I knew what I needed to do. I simply didn't want to encounter him anymore. So, I shrewdly put a boggart in his path to learn his greatest fear. I then created the demigod statues to keep him in his place, so to speak. The moons were inspired play on his name. It worked brilliantly. Until you started clearing them out. <laughs> My character all, all smiled. My apologies. You know better than Mr. Moon. Yeah, you're also a bully. I mean, the idea to use a bogger to figure out his fear is pretty genius, to be honest. It's like, not, not bad. Not a bad move, but an evil move. The statues are a form of bullying. You'll know better than him. Perhaps it's time you both moved on. <sighs> Fair point, I suppose. If they've terrified him, as you say, he may have learned his lesson. <laughs> what insufferable buffoonery! Rude! Talk to Gladwin Moon. Alright, we do that. But before we do that, let's go here and identify some of the items that I picked up in my, my travels. Deke hasn't seen this many plants here before. Why can I not pick it up? Collect? Oh, is my is my thing full? I think my my slots are full. Not too much, I guess. All right, now we go to Moon. <laughs> Hi, welcome back. Yeah, I'm I'm replaying this beautiful game. How are you doing? Welcome back. 
Hydrax, hello, good afternoon. Oh no, the Mandrax are terrifying, oh. Nasty buggers. The sounds they make, Ooh. All right, which way? Ah oh, yeah, this way is correct. I'm running! Hello, Mr. Moon. Mr. Moon, I've learned who's behind the demigai statues. It was someone you bullied in school. It was your friend from school. Someone you bullied. It was a classmate of yours that you bullied. Piers Pemberton. Oh, am I a known? Pigtails Piers! I don't think he likes that nickname. I don't think he likes being called that. Of course he does! Oh, we had such flowing locks! Oh, we used to laugh about them! <laughs> I laugh the hardest of all! That's the issue. Clever, clever man. <sighs> I'd no idea he was so devious! <laughs> I must go and congratulate him. Whatever statues remain seem less terrifying now that I know they were put out by old pigtails. Continue collecting them if you like. As for me, I'm gonna go and pay a visit to my old friend. You're not the brightest candle on the cake, are you? <laughs> he didn't get it. Quest complete, the man behind the moons. Revelia. Good night, Ashgar. Sleep well. Hi from Brazil. Hi from Switzerland. Hello. Oh, 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 what did I do? Ah, and Fury. Gear trade recipe reward. Ah, okay, cool, cool. Field guide pages were pretty advanced, but yeah. Roughly maybe halfway through. Oh, this was the one. The challenges were the one where the room of requirement was grayed out. That's what I was thinking about. All right, so since we have a limited amount of skills and considering that we are 22, 25, so we don't have too much anymore. If I want to use the plants more often, I should probably skill those now. For each Chinese chomping cabbage thrown, a second Chinese chomping cabbage gener generated and released at no cost. How many dark arts are there? Ten. Ay, guys. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, 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 ay. Okay, let me look at the really cool ones. Venomous and Tech deal additional damage and break shields. Duration of the focus. Okay, I'm gonna ignore the potion stuff and I'm just gonna get those. Um. Those uh, plant ones. Because I wanted to do like a plant playthrough, right? So I'm gonna get those three and then I'm gonna focus more on the dark arts now. Once I get those skills, that is. Okay. Um, do we get anything new gear wise? Anything better? Nope. Oh, these are better. Oh, these are way better. Wow. And ugly. <laughs> Hell no. Okay, any cool hats? Ooh, mamma mia, look at that. Increased Chinese chomping cabbage damage, nice. <laughs> Imperial target does extra damage. Wow. We're not gonna use Imperial though. Oh, what is this? Desert Nomad Scarf. Where's the one with the cute owl? Hmm, this one is cute, but where's the owl? <laughs> I had one with a cute owl on it. I want that one back. Hmm, House Scarf. Also not bad. But, but the owl, guys. Where did the owl go? Top of the class scarf? Hmm. To really show off, huh? Okay, let's take the natural beige one. I like that one. And we got a better outfit. Maybe? No? No. Nope. 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 
Doesn't love your sweater? Thanks! It's my own merch. I I made it for the holiday season and it arrived yesterday. A bit late, I ordered it too late. <laughs> Okay, quests. Time to sell some stuff. Yup, 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 yup. But first we do some questing. Well, well, well. Use the well treasure map to find the treasure, which we can't do yet because it's in the southern part of the map. So, the helm of Ortcott. I need to travel to Hawksmead. I should be able to find Serona inside the three broomsticks. We need to go there anyways because um, I want to sell some things, right? In Hawksmead. So let's do that. Let's combine those two things. Um, this is where I need to go. Let's go he here. Do you have to be a huge fan of Harry Potter to play this game? Like, I haven't read the books and only watched the first two movies. Love the universe, but I haven't spent any time with it. Um, I think you don't have to, but you benefit from having... Am I losing <laughs> my mind? Um... You know, having You're read back. the books and nice or watched the again. movies. There's a quite a few references to... ...to those other media, you know? But it's not a necessity, per se, I would say. Wow, so many gear slots. Wow, we were... So I've heard but from quite a few people that they are no fan of Harry Potter, actually, but they really enjoy the game, so... But in the end, if you're gonna like it or not, I would say it really depends on you, and only you can answer that. So you have to... you have to risk it for the biscuit. Thanks for stopping <laughs> by. Hope to see you again. Might pick it up on a sale or something then? Yeah! Jeez, you got that coin. Yeah, I, I'm, I have that problem in games. Since I'm a lootaholic and I pack up everything uh, and then sell it, I usually have tons of coin and I don't know what to spend them on. All right, Serena. Hello there. Nice Hello. to see you. Hello. Hello, Miss Ryan. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Rookwood and Harlow the day of the troll attack. Serena, please. And I was happy to help. Oh, those two are nothing but trouble. Glad you and your friend were here when they found you. I am too. You were speaking to a goblin here that day. Yes, Lodgog. <sighs> He's a friend. I'm glad to hear it. How can you trust a goblin? Oh, wow. I'm glad to hear it. It seemed as though you were on good terms with him. I've known him for years. We met when I was waiting tables here as a student, well before I bought the place. He was cordial enough, but we weren't friends then. His mistrust of wizard kind ran deep. But you're friends now? We are. I hadn't seen him in years when he came in a few months ago. But he recognized me instantly, which is more than I can say for some of my own classmates. It took them a second to realize I was actually a witch, not a wizard. Not all goblins are like Ranrock and his loyalists. Lodgok is as worried as the rest of us about what's been going on. In that case, I'd like to talk with him, about Ranrock in particular. Where might I find him? I assume your interest is to do with the rumors I've heard about Ranrock working with our friend Rookwood. It is. If he's not here, you might find him doing business at the Hog's Head. He's a trusted metal trader. Hmm. You should mention that we spoke. He can, understandably, be wary of witches and wizards. Even ones as young as you. That said, if you're looking for information on Ranrock to help rein him in, you'll find an ally in Lodgok. Thank you. What have you heard about Ranrock and Rookwood? Have you heard what Ranrock and Rookwood are working on together? Not much more than the fact that they seem to have some sort of uneasy alliance. Friendship between wizards and goblins is rare enough, but between those two, they each want something the other has. I can guarantee it. That said, I fear they're like a two-headed serpent. Both will need to be taken down to stop whatever scheme they've been plotting. You seemed unfazed by Rookwood and Harlow the other day. They don't scare you. They're bullies. Plain and simple. Never tolerated them in my own life, and certainly won't tolerate them going after my friends. Don't misunderstand me. They're dangerous wizards and shouldn't be trifled with. They should, however, be confronted and reminded, whenever possible, that the rest of us have each other's backs. 
Thank you, Serona. If you find Lord Gog, please give him my best. Will do. I don't know what you've done to make such powerful enemies, but please, watch your back. Will do. Since this is a third person game, I can't do anything else and watch my back. <laughs> All right, look for Lodgog at the Hawk's Head Inn. In. I love this game, I already beat it at 96%. I really hope they do second part. I think they're already working on it, right? Or if not that, they've at least, um, they're at least work on, they're at least working on a Quidditch game, I think. Hi, welcome in. 9 a.m. here, good morning. Is this the entrance? Uh, blinded. Hello. Can I help you with something? Bing! What are you drinking? Hello, Lord Gok. Hello, Lord Gok. Serona said I might find you here. She did, did she? Did she send you with news? No, actually, I wanted to speak with you. It's about Ranrock. Now I remember. The three broomsticks. Day of the troll attack. You're the student he's after. Yes. I am. And I need to know what he and his loyalists are up to. So I can stay a step ahead. Let's say I did know. Why should I trust you? Serona trusts me. Perhaps I misjudged you. Hmm. Serona trusts me? Serona trusts me. And she said she thought our interests may be aligned. Hmm. Well, if Serona trusts you... Yeah? Very well. I may know of something that could help us both. A way to get Ranrock to confide his plans to me. I'm listening. Years ago, a heinous witch stole a sacred goblin relic. Rumor has it that it now rests in her sarcophagus, in a tomb accessible only by wizard kind. Ranrock and I had a, a falling out a while back, the relic could well repair the chasm between us. I'll retrieve the relic. Sounds like a trap. Very well. I'll retrieve the relic if you promise to share Ranrock's plans with me. We will have to trust each other. I, that you will not abscond with the relic, and you, that I'll share what I learn. Gather whatever supplies you may need and meet me near the witch's tomb. <gasps> we tomb raiding! We go spelunking and tomb raiding. Nice. Yeah. Welcome to the Og's Head. Cool, cool. And the empty seat is yours. Unforgivable curses. Unforgivable curses? Aww. Oh, I can't fly here. Oops. Oh, there's no double jump. I forgot about that. Oops. <laughs> I was literally right here. That's very close. How convenient. Hi. I'm ready. Good. There's no time to lose. Let's go then. Follow Lodgog to the tomb's entrance. Okay. What precisely is the relic I'm to retrieve? A valuable heirloom known as the Helmet of Urtgod. The witch considered herself a collector and purchased the helmet as a trinket. She cared not what pain she caused the goblins. Goblins believe that the rightful owner of any object is its maker, not its purchaser. Wizardkind sees things differently. It's a wonder goblins and wizards have ever been able to work together. The differences between our kinds are myriad. They seem to be. It may surprise you to know that I do not believe those differences always to be insurmountable. It is the reason I find myself traveling with you to this tomb today. Can you run? Okay, he can run. Damn, those are long arms and short legs. Interesting combination. Are we being spotted? Oh, already dead? That was fast. Ah, and there it is. 
The witch's tomb. Ugh, dreadful looking place, isn't it? I think it's rather beautiful, but <laughs> okay. What do you guys think? I think this looks pretty nice. With a great view over Hogwarts. And this pretty tree and... Hmm, I don't know. I wish you luck retrieving the helmet. As a wand carrier, you should have an advantage. Now, before you set off, do you have any questions? Why is this helmet valuable? What about this helmet makes it so special? The helmet of Ertgott is an ancient and storied relic. Forged during a time of unity among the goblin clans. It inspired greatness. That is, until it was no longer ours. Then it became something else. A symbol of what has been lost. Of all that wizard kind has taken from us. Reclaiming it would mean a great deal to goblin kind and to Ranrock. He would be grateful to me should I return it. Do you know why Ranrock is working with Rookwood? It seems Ranrock and Rookwood are conspiring. Why would that be? I had heard this. When the dark-hearted conspire, they seldom make their full intentions clear to one another. Hmm. I can only speculate, but I imagine their alliance is uneasy and quite fragile. Let us hope that ours is less so. Don't suppose you have any idea what could be waiting for me inside the tomb? Considering a dark witch was involved, I suppose there's a chance you may encounter the Dark Protectors, known as Inferi. Mm -hmm. The foul creatures thrive on darkness and the cold. Vanquish them with light, force, and most effectively, fire. Will do. It all seems clear to me now that we're here. I do hope mm. our alliance proves fruitful. Again, I wish you luck. I will remain here, eagerly awaiting your Vellio. return. Please. Be careful. Nah, don't you worry. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. The witch's tomb, which witch? <laughs> well, the witch. witch, of course. The one and only. <laughs> Laura, Laura Croft in here? Hmm. Revelio. It's sealed. Lumos. Wait, no, you need to stay here. Moths. Curious. Intriguing. No? <laughs> Did I hear burn them with fire? Dracarys. Balan's beard. Okay. Ooh, big chest. Nice. Teal Chinese fireball scarf. Ooh. This can't be the witch's tomb. Likely I need to go further. I think so too. Um. Boom. Lumos. You come with me too. Alright, but I need to loot all the things as well. Yoink, 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 yoink. Alright, come with me little moth. You really do have a nice singing voice. Thank you. Have you been listening to my YouTube? <laughs> Thank you very much. Glad you like it. <sighs> I have a feeling I'm not alone here. We have uh, these goals on the top of the screen and each one unlocks a song that I sing at the end. Plus some bonus ones if all's filled. <laughs> so we definitely have some singing at the end of, it, of the stream already. Uh, hang on. Hang on. I need to equip the proper... The proper spells, I'm sorry. So dramatic! Can I do this now? Okay, cool. Boom! 
Nice, nice. Revelio. Ooh, big chest. Can I just... Ooh, yeah, I can. Cool. I wasn't sure if I could just run up there. <laughs> what about this? Nope. Okay. Lumos. Okay, you go here. And you go there as well. Whoosh. No, Avelio. the third one. Where's the third one? Up there. Hmm. No, that was... Oh, hang on. Um, that's what I wanted to do. Dang it, how do I do this? Hmm. If I could power it somehow, uh. it looks like it could be rotated. Okay, I need to... Just one or two? Closer. With me fast. Whoosh. Are you coming? Oh yeah. Okay, we did it. Mine, mine, mine. Oh crap. Yeah, this doesn't seem like progress area, so let's go. Ooh. I hope this is extra area. Looks like it. Oh, I fell down. Crap. Now, how do I get back up? Can I just run up there? Yes, cool. No, there is no difference in the um, playstyle. When you play one house, it's not much difference, at least. Uh, there is a bit of difference when you play different houses. There's house-specific quests, but they're quite small. So nothing major, you know? Rebellion. But it's not exactly the same either. Come on, go up. Ah, cool, I can run over. Nice. Yoink. Revelia. Okay. So yeah, each house has its own little quest line, which is relatively short. And then, um, of course, you, you, since you are in a different house, you see the different common What's rooms. What's that hanging there? Looks precarious. Hanging? This one? Oh. There oh. I go. It's sealed shut from the other side. Of course. Doors are always locked from the other side in every bloody video game. Especially Resident Evil. Small frame paintings found. Cool. What, am I supposed to jump down there? For real? Uh oh. This Revelio. looks ominous as hell. Hmm. Alright. Down we go. Oh! oh. <laughs> Splosh. Okay, let's go here first. Lumos. Ah, 
Huh. Huh. Um, but... Oh, yeah. Actually going the right way now. <laughs> this way. <laughs> I don't know if that is a specific trait from Hufflepuff to be a stoner, but... You do you. <laughs> Lumos. Oh, enemies? Enemies? Ooh, enemies. Hello. Incendio. multiple hits at once, nice. Cool. More? Yep, there's more. Are we good? Rebellion. Are we good? Seem to be good. Okay, cool. Let me collect the things they dropped. Lumos. Alright, so I have a feeling you need to go in here. Whoosh. And then even more complex. Come on, climb up. Oh, well, that's silly. Closer. Oops, sorry. Lumos. That was a wrong spell. <laughs> Whoopsie poopins. Okay, where's the moth, though? I need another moth. Rebellion. We'll figure it out, guys. We'll figure it out. I'll get there. There's another one down there. I'm stupid. All right. <gasps> Hang on. Um. Lumos. That could be problematic. It could be indeed quite problematic now. <laughs> huh, hang on. <gasps> oh, I can put one up there. Lumos. Come fast. Protego. Lumos. No, not you. Bloody hell. Lumos. Haha. <laughs> gotcha. Okay, what do I do now? Take 
Lumos. Eh. I need this moth to be in there so I can Making turn the spin or to raise that platform. That must be it. Girl, we've been doing that so many times by now. That is not the problem. I need another moth. Maybe I'm supposed to get one of these boxes like this one down here so I can climb up here. Hmm. <gasps> Oh, I didn't see you. Nice. Hello. Well, that makes things easier. I'm just blind. <laughs> okay, got it. Nice. The witch's final resting place. Lodgok said the helmet was in her sarcophagus. I see the Inferi chilling here. Incendio. Okay, I'm not supposed to light this up. Gotcha. The dead Ashwinder. Your compatriots must have made off with the helmet. Lodgok won't like this. Better show this to Lodgok. Signet ring. There must be some sort of mechanism for this doorway. Yeah, I thought of something, but that didn't Rebellion. work. Incendio! Okay. You just found the moth about two hours faster than I did. Oh. <laughs> I was just not expecting it there, so I didn't even look there. Lodcock, the sarcophagus has been raided. I found no helmet. Only a dead Ashwinder. Damn! They got here first! We need to get it before Rookwood uses it to further ingratiate himself to Ranrock. I saw one of their campsites not far from here, but I fear you must go in alone. My fighting days are behind me. That's okay. Very well, I go. I'll head there now. Good. Very well. There's no time to lose. Get to that helmet before Rookwood does, or we will lose our chance at any leverage, no matter how small, with Ranrock. <laughs> To think those wretched thieves have their hands on such a relic. Don't worry, I'll get it back. Just what I do. Looting the crap out of people. Sometimes they're too well hidden in plain sight. There they are. Hello! Hang on. You've made a grave mistake. Hang on. Uh, this one. You will knew you were still hanging about. You and me. I blasted him into bits. The biggest thing they could find of him was his boobies. <laughs> this cool thing. Recover the helmet. Rebellion. Wait, do I? Was I in the wrong camp? 
No, I gotta find you somewhere. Hang on. Over there, maybe? Yoink! Wigan Wild ah. Potion. That's it! Ah! Oh, hello. This is for Rookwood! I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. You will see no such thing. You're going to regret that. Please stop! Why can I not? Oh, bye. Oh, bye. Bye for good. Two more of these. Wait till Sebastian hears about this. An Ashwinder. Why Sebastian? Hmm. Lord Gog, I got the Maybe helmet. Safe to explore in there. Where are you at? There you are. I retrieved the helmet from the Ashwinders. Well done. This is sure to impress Ranrock. <laughs> the helmet shines even more brightly than I imagined. The etchings, the contour of the profile. Remarkable. Remarkable. It is stunning. It looks stunning, Lord Gok. I see why you wanted it back. You did the thieves a service by recovering it. I know many a goblin who would have killed for it. Oh, then I'm glad to be rid of it myself. Thank you. This should earn Ranrock's trust. I will take it to him immediately. It may distract him from his search. His search? It, uh, it is merely an inkling. You have impressed me greatly, friend. I am glad that I trusted you. <laughs> we shall speak soon. Best to keep our arrangement quiet for now. Many will not believe that our aims might possibly be aligned. Yeah, the thieves were so lucky. Others would have killed for it. Not me blasting them into pieces or anything. Nah. Of course, I just innocently snuck in there and uh, grabbed the helmet and then left again. <clears throat> yeah. No thieves were harmed. <laughs> mm. Quests. What ha What do we do now? Well, well, well. We can't do so. I guess the only thing left to do for us right now is go to Beast Class. Ooh. Let's go. I'm looking forward to that. Go to beast class. In daytime, of course, so we wait. <laughs> Thank you for your persistence and cleverness. I confronted Piers about it and he confessed straight away, the old rascal. <laughs> We've agreed to let bygones be bygones. Uh, don't forget to say hello the next time you're in the three broomsticks. Thrilled to be back there again. Okay, cool. Beast class. Welcome, everyone. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, <gasps> none of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way dangerous, especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. Now, it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy, Poppy Sweeting. Hi. Don't worry about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. Oh! Miss <laughs> Sweeting, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. But now she can breathe. Here. You can practice on Gerald. <gasps> Gerald! Just keep an eye out for his tongue. <laughs> Hi, Gerald. You can use my brush. Just be gentle. Oh, and think pleasant thoughts. I like to think it enriches his experience. The beast petting brush is used to nurture magical beasts. Tap to the side and assign the beast petting brush in your spell set. Uh Okay. Uh, I'm sure he feels much better. I think he might be hungry. Would you mind giving him some beast feed? 
Of course. <laughs> what do you suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Pudding, I like to think. I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. Mm -hmm. That's good news. He seems very nice. He is. Kindness is one of his best qualities, right after ambition and cleanliness. Mm -hmm. Especially in the nose area and good belly button. Good work, everyone. Now, let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. Mm. And please, do be careful as you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting, why don't you show our new student to the Neasles in the oh. farthest pen? The Neasles! This way. The Neasles are over here. The chunky cats! Wow, they're so big and chunky! Oh, couple of Neasel whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something from Honey Jukes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Ow. stupid thing. Oh, oh the poor what thing. Are you, what are you doing? Ugh, tuss, tuss, peculiar poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent? Her name is Persephone. <laughs> Her name is Persephone. <laughs> That's really not funny. Let's go. Yeah, you better leave. Yeah. Good Neasel. Look at you. Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. Poachers in training. Persephone was onto them instantly. Thank you for your help. Hi, Let's carry cuties. On. Feed and brush the Neasels just as you did with Gerald. The Neasels really took to you. They know a good egg when they see one. <gasps> I'm a good egg! As do I. It appears our time has come to an end. No, I'm not Please done yet! Please close the pens and see yourselves out. Now, where is our new student? Ah! There you are. Hello! I would like a moment, please. Yes, but first I need to tend to the Neasels. Yum 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 This is so adorable All right, they're all happy <gasps> Hi Oh, it's an off it's a baby look at you Oh god, they're all so adorable! Here, I have lots of feed for you. <laughs> they're so cute! All the little hearts that are popping up are so cute. Oh, look how they all look at you, all ex expectingly. So sweet. Why are you not ready to be interacted with? What's wrong with you? There. <laughs> so sweet. The colors are gorgeous. You are already done. You're also done. You're all happy now, right? Okay, cool. What's over here? Sorry, ma'am. I I am um, uh <gasps> Puff schemes. Yay! Oh the offsprings! They're so tiny. Hello. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> the phone message you are. They're so adorable. <laughs> My favorites are the Nifflers. I can't wait. Alright, I think I've done them all now. I think everybody is uh, fed and, and, and... Ooh, hello. Hello, Hamora. 
<clears throat> Sorry. The teacher is looking at me, watching me break into something. The babies are so cute. Oh, everything is just so cute. Unidentified hand item. All right. Hello, Professor Howen. Hello, Professor. You wanted to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast's lesson? I enjoyed it. Beasts make me nervous. No, I love it. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good. Yes. You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, they can play a vital role in our lives. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly, which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Mm -hmm. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, right. Professor. They're nearly as bad as the savages in Rookwood's poacher pack. <sighs> Sadly, we're the ones who suffer. Stumbling over dead beasts? Terrible waste of resources. Surely the poachers can be brought to justice by someone. The Ministry, perhaps. Hmm. An optimistic idea. Now... Why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Like? Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to the other fifth years. Be on the lookout for my owl. Meanwhile, I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your own time. Okay, I don't learn a spell. Over here. Hi, Poppy. Did you need something, Poppy? Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. You were an augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's a good thing. It's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. At least that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. Yeah. We're of a similar mind. Actually, in light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. Sounds intriguing. You've intrigued me. Very well, lead the way. I'd hoped I would. Let's go. Lead the way. I wouldn't take just anyone there. In fact, you're the first. Oh, I'm special. Really? Well, thank you, I think. As I said, we think alike. Pleasant surprise. <laughs> Quite the weather we're having, don't you think? Okay. Poppy, where are you taking me? It really is much better if I just show you. We already we already got to the weather talk. Don't worry, running we're out of topics. <laughs> it's just ahead. Two introvert introverts meeting. <laughs> Stand back. That was a quiet whistle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the hippogriffs. Please meet High Wing. High Wing, hi. Isn't she just magnificent? <laughs> Go on, introduce yourself to her. But be careful. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. Wow. Lower. Ooh. Hello. I knew it. I don't think I've ever seen a hippogriff take to someone this quickly. You can feed and brush her if you'd like. <gasps> yes. I come and check on her every once in a while. Bring her pasties, tell her what's going on in the castle. You wouldn't know from looking at her, but she's a dreadful busybody. Am I not giving her dead ferrets? <laughs> it's so cute. Angry high wing. <laughs> oh. 
And gone again. <laughs> so sweet. So, what did you think of High Wing? I thought she was brilliant. Can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Hmm, perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? Hmm. I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and Highwing cross paths? It's a longer story, but I rescued her from poachers a few years back. Mm. Got her to safety and, well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area. Yeah. So I worry they could get her again and that I might not be there next time. Professor Howard mentioned the poachers as well. She seemed to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I fear she's right. The poachers' influence is growing. I see them every day in the village, lingering, talking to people. They're up to something. I'm just not sure what. <laughs> and my character is... That sounds suspicious. That hardly sounds incriminating. Sounds suspicious. That does seem strange. Sounds as if they're planning something. Exactly. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on. What they're doing. Would be good to investigate. I wouldn't. Poachers are dangerous. I love the danger, so let's go. I think that's a fine idea. Information is power. And the more I know, the better I can keep Highwing safe. You seem undeterred. Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope. Mm-hmm. I hope so, too. Rebellion. Is there a cave entrance here? Yeah, there is. Have I been in here? Oh no, never mind, it's not. Hello, friend. I oh, wonder Serana. if you might stop by the three broomsticks when you can. Sure. I'd like your help with something. Sure thing, Serona. As I mentioned, my sister Anne misses Hogwarts. She hasn't been herself lately. I'd like to take you up on your promise to visit her with me. I'm heading to Feldcroft soon, so I'll look forward to seeing you there. It's just south of Hogwarts. By the way, hope you're faring well with the blasting curse. It's still one of my favorites. Mm-hmm, mine too. Okay, now that you've attended Beast's class, I've asked Deke to assist you in using the room to further your studies in that regard. Please meet him there when you can. I've not heard from my Uncle Roland in quite some time. I've been beside myself with worry. Could you meet me in the courtyard? That was a lot of letters. All at once. Alright, um, let me check before we go further. Uh, the Tale of Roland Oaks, a friend in deed. Talk to Sir Ryan of the Three Broomsticks. Let's do that. Highly requested. <laughs> Could you help me with this? Could you help me with that? Could you do? <laughs> so much mail, yeah. Hello. Ah, loving it. All right. Hello. Glad you came. Hi, Serona. Hello, Serona. I received your owl. How are you? Hello, my friend. Did you ever find Lord Gog? I spoke with him. We're actually working together. I did. Thank you. In fact, we're working together to try and rein in Ranrock. Are you? Hmm. I suspected you and he would get along. Perhaps best I don't know details of your plans. Yeah, probably better. Then I shall refrain from telling you to be careful yet again. But I hope you will be. I will. I... of course. Your owl mentioned you're needing my help with something. I do. I thought you might be just the person to do a favor for my friend Dorothy Sprottle in Upper Hogsfield. Ooh. I've actually met Mrs. Sprottle. I recently spoke with her about her friend, Claire Beaumont. 
She's lovely. Her late husband, Aidan, was a friend of my father's. In fact, I'd stay with Dot and Aidan the summers I waited tables here as a student. I've seen her a few times since Aidan passed, but the pub's been so busy lately, I've not been as attentive as I'd have liked. I wonder if you might pop in and see her. She may need some help collecting ingredients for her supply of Wigan World potion. And you could retrieve something of mine in the process. A box, uh, full of old letters and such. <laughs> <laughs> Why does Mrs. Sprottle have a Wigan World supply? Why does Mrs. Sprottle keep a supply of Wigan World potion on hand? Dot's a skilled potioner. She's been supplying traveling vendors with Wigan World potion. An ordinary precaution that has, unfortunately, become a necessity, what with Ranrock's loyalists disrupting the trade routes. And why did you leave your box of letters with the Sprottles? Why did Mr. and Mrs. Sprottle have your box of letters after all this time? It's one of a few that I had when I was young. Dot found it when she was clearing out a closet. Can't imagine what's in there. Probably terribly theatrical. The ramblings of a teenage witch and her friends. You're welcome to take a peek inside, if you do find it. To be honest, I'd imagine it contains some lovely memories. I'll try to go and see her when I can. It would mean the world to me, and to Dorothy. Aidan was bringing the box of letters to me when he was taken ill. Dot can tell you where he might have dropped it. Okay. You'll find the hamlet just north of Hogsmeade. Please do give Dot my love. Will do. I heard that Hufflepuff has a great side quest and the common room is beautiful. You heard correctly. Venomous revenge. A man is standing behind the three broomsticks muttering angrily to himself. Should I engage? Talk to the muttering man behind the three broomsticks. Hmm. Intriguing. <laughs> Let's go. When I'm already You'll here. You see, it was a mistake parting ways with me. Eckley Barnes. Sir, is everything all right? How kind of you to ask. The name's Ackley Barnes. And no, it is not. What's wrong? I'm plotting a sort of revenge against my ex-business partner, a conniving fiend by the name of Alfred Lawley. He cut me out of our herbology supply business just as we were getting started. Hm. Said I was too volatile to work with. I'll show him volatile. So you're just wanna you're just gonna prove his point? can see why. I can see why he said that. You do seem angry. Of course I'm angry now. In large part due to his absurd overreaction to what is simply passion for my work. Supercilious fool. He's passionate about things too. As I intend to remind him by relieving him of his prized possession. A venomous tentacular he's grown from a seedling that was to be the keystone of our business venture. I can't get anywhere near it with Ruth Singer watching me like an augury. Lawley's doing, no doubt. But no one would suspect a student. Hmm. How would you feel about committing some grand plant larceny? <laughs> Um, what was your business with Alfred Lawley? You said Mr. Lawley was your ex-business partner. What were you working on? I had an idea to train Venomous Tentacula. Create guard plants, if you will, uh -huh. that attacked when ordered. Hmm. We hit a snag when one ate Lolly's Neasel. After that, he cut me out of the business, the short-sighted fiend. But the Neasel! Why this Venomous Tentacula? Why do you need Mr. Lolly's Venomous Tentacula in particular? Simple. If I have it, then Lolly doesn't. Ergo, I can launch my business and he must start all over again. I'm killing two snidgets with one stone. What else is in Mr. Lawley's cellar? All of Lawley's herbology what? supplies. He has quite the collection. Fill your pockets while you're there. Or to slow him down for a bit. And I can get my business going minus any competition. Competition. All right, I hope I can say I'll do it and then I will go to Alfred Le Lolly and, and talk to him. Or I'm not comfortable with this and then I can go to him. I'll do it. I'll get the mm. venomous tentacular for you. Marvelous. I know a fellow seeker of justice when I see one. 
Take as many Herbology supplies as you like while you're in his cellar. All I ask is that you bring me the Venomous Tentacular. Oh, dear. Remember, I just need that Venomous Tentacular. Seems this must be it. But can I also go to our Alfred Lolly? Alfred? Alfred. You home? No. Okay. I think Slytherin has the best dormitory. I guess that is very subjective. <laughs> As with everything. It's a shame people on Xbox and PC don't get this to play the PlayStation the exclusive mission. Now, it's to really cool. find that venomous tentacular. Horror themed mission. Better not let Mr. Lawley see me. But I... What could be stirring in the cell? Stop! Plant bandit! I wanted to talk to him. That didn't go well. You were caught by Alfred Lawley. Try again. I was I was hoping I could just talk to him and let him know. That didn't work out. Better not let Mr. Lawley see me. Mate, make up your mind. Okay, he seems to be busy over there now. Avelia. How do I get there? Oh shit. What could be stirring in the cellar? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Must have been the wind, sir. Must have been the wind. Oh my god, he has hog eyes. Is this the way I gotta go? Aha. Uh -huh. Sweet. But is there any loot? Ha 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 ha. Oh. Just me bumping into things and breaking shit. Where is that venomous tentacular? Hello, Mora. Never seen him in the cellar before, no? Lolly's venomous tentacular. Is there a way that you could do this quest but do it like do something for Lolly instead? Or is it just doing this quest or not doing this quest? That's the question. Spooters! Could you sneak up on them? Scooters galore, galore, yeah. So many of them, holy moly. Your tool wheels are full. <sighs> well, that is a shame. Everything is completely filled up. Not grass, brig. Rebellion. Can I climb up here and get... Are you kidding me? Come on, girl. You can climb up that way. Oh, or we just take the stairs. That works too. Hello, but hang on. 
I don't know if it's gonna yeet me out of here. But there's a lovely chest I want to loot first. I assume this is said, uh... Venomous, yeah, that's the tentacular. Now that I have the venomous tentacular, I should return to Mr. Barnes. Yes, yes, yes. Now, can I just leave the way that I got in, or... Is there more to be done? Could you balance on these? Oh, 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 this is fine, this is fine. Incendio! Hmm. Okay, doesn't seem like there's anything cool to do. At least not that I could tell. Uh, unfortunately, there's nothing you can do for Lolly. Instead, at least not that I know of. Okay. Lumos. No, that's the wrong spell. That's the one. Oh, he's standing right there. Gosh, the bugger. <gasps> so many rats. He really does have a problem with like spiders and rats and whatnot. Wish. Thanks for all the follows, everybody. Welcome in. The mission will soon be available for everyone. Do we have a date or like a something, like more information when soon actually is? Because I've never played that mission and I would really like to do that. Yo -ho. We did that errand for me yet? Hello, Mr. Barnes. I have that venomous tentacular. Ha! Wish I could see Lawley's face when he realizes his prized possession is gone. Let's see who's volatile now. Well done. I'll take it off your hands now. I'd like to be paid. I'm gonna be rude to him. It wasn't as easy to come by as I had expected. I'd like to be paid for my troubles. Ah, only fair, I suppose. I can respect your business acumen. Here's a little something for your next trip to Zonko's. Thank you again for your help. I suspect you have a bright future. What did I get? 500? Zonkos must be expensive, my lord. That is quite the amount, isn't it? Sheesh. Hi guys, welcome in. Hi, Julius. Hi, Galicious. It said the 10th of February, okay. I will not be playing the game then, still, but... Either we could like play it together for like a little bit, or I'm just gonna record it by myself or something for YouTube. Something of that sort. All right, guys, what to do next? A friend indeed. Speak to Dorothy Sprottle. Let's do that. Here. Yoo-hoo. <laughs> Honey Dukes is better. Zonkos is like the... Uh, how, do you, how do you explain that in English? Um, the shop for... Ah. Upper Hogsfield. Mr. Now, where to find Mrs. Sprottle? There she is. Like more like toys, right? While Honeydukes is snacks and sweets. Nice to see you again, Mrs. Sprottle. Actually, Serona Ryan asked if I'd come and see you. Oh, dear Serona, a gem has been for as long as I've known her. She thought you might need help collecting ingredients for your Wiganweld potion. And she's correct. My darling Aiden used to collect hawk lumps for me. Since he died, my supply has dwindled. I'm sorry for your loss, Mrs. Sprottle. Oh, thank you. Love of my life. A bit lost without him. Aww. If you wouldn't mind gathering some hawk lumps for me, I'd be happy to compensate you for your time. I believe it or not, I have some with me. Believe it or not, I have some with me. Oh, thank you. How wonderful. The traveling vendors will be thrilled to replenish their stock of Wigan Weld potion. Serona also mentioned that Mr. Sprottle was bringing her a box of letters when he fell ill. Indeed he was. I'd almost forgotten. I stumbled upon it just before Aiden died. He was hoping to go through it with Serona over a butterbeer or two. Uh, those two were always like two bow truckles in a branch. Aiden took ill when he was collecting hawk clumps on his way to see her. He made it home, but I fear he dropped the box in the cavern. 
Oof. The cavern is in the hills, just southwest of our hamlet. You can gather hawk clumps and collect the box of letters there. But since you already have the hawk clumps, we should be good with that, right? Serena said she lived with you during the summers when she was at Hogwarts. What was she like? Oh, uh, goodness. Well, she was almost exactly like she is now. <laughs> Charming, good head on her shoulders, taking care of everyone. <laughs> I can't tell you the fun we had when she and her friends would visit us during the year, all buzzing about practicing charms. <laughs> Talented group. Her friend Mirabelle was a genius in the garden, <gasps> learned it all garlic? from her muggle parents, if you can believe it. Professor Garlic, Mirabelle Garlic, right? Do you remember anything about the letters you put in the box? Oh, of course. A few letters from some of her school friends. Some nice memories. I even included a letter Serona had written to me when she was staying with us. Thought she might enjoy reading it. I know when I read writing from my youth, I'm always astonished at how much I've changed and yet remain the same. Hmm. Thank you, Mrs. Sprottle. Thank you. I'll be here if you are able to collect those hawk clumps. I and the vendors I help would greatly appreciate it. But I thought I have them all already. I'm confused. How far away is it? Ah, oh, just around the corner. Gotcha. This must be the cavern Mrs. Sprottle mentioned. Uh, well, this is a bit um, nerve-wracking. All the gore just right outside of the cave. Hawklump Hollow. <laughs> Bye, extra dra dragon. But I still need to visit the cave to find Serona's box of letters. Perhaps I'll find more Hawklumps while I'm there. On the 10th of February, the exclusive deal between the Sony and the developing company ends for the site mission, but there was no date officially been announced if and when it will be made available. The broad consensus is that it will be made available, though. Okay. Better have a look around. I guess See so about too. the hawk clumps and the box of letters. Ah, that's all the hawk clumps for now. Mrs. Sprottle should be pleased. It's my guess that um Avelio. Confringo. that uh, Sony does that quite a lot to financially support the development of games and then demands Lumos uh, exclusivity of some sort. At least for a time, you know? You can see there's lots of games that have been um, PlayStation exclusive for some time and then after a very specific time, most often, the games do end up on other platforms as well. Rebellion. Boom. Oh, hello, little rats. Hmm. I'm all about the loot, about the loot, no trouble. I'm all about the loot, about the loot, no trouble. Keep garlic, please. <laughs> we haven't had another assignment with her yet. Wait, am I going the right direction here? Huh. Ooh. I don't have <gasps> yes. to fight that troll or avoid it again.
here, big boy. Dang. I hit the wrong button. Oh, no. He's not done yet. Bonk. <laughs> he knocked himself out. Should think they felt that in London. Sweet. Boom. Hi, welcome in. Okay, this is a dead end. Detonia, this is where we came from, so I guess this is the only way out over there. Right? What's there? Hmm. 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 Darn it, where do I go first? I want to go everywhere. Ah! Ew! 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 <laughs> the boogies out. Uh... Ah! A little chest. Sweet. Okay. All right. Now we should be able to go this way, right? Open that up. Give me the loot. Whoosh. Okay, this is a dead end. I thought I could walk up the stairs there. <laughs> Whoopsie poopins. Um. <gasps> oh, squirrels! So sweet. Confringo. Oh. Whoops. And another chest. <laughs> I don't know if I will ever need all these war clumps, but here we are. It is what it is. What are you? Are you a little rabbit? Where'd the rabbit go? Shrivel fig food. Mm. Oh yeah, it's a little rabbit. Oh, cute. <laughs> ah. Dear Serona, I conjured this wee gift for you as a token of my gratitude. If you hadn't stood your ground on my behalf during Quidditch practice last week, I might have left the team altogether. And now we've won the Quidditch Cup. Ravenclaw House would not be the same without you. Yours sincerely, Sean. Aww. Dear Serona, when I arrived here, I had a troubling sense that in many ways I wasn't like the other first years. I confess I worried that Hogwarts might not be in the proper place for me and pondered sending an owl to my parents asking them to fetch me almost before the first week of classes had ended. How did you know? I presume you're not secretly, uh, legi -limans? I don't know. But I wonder that you seem to know my thoughts better than I did myself. That day in the Three Broomsticks when you spotted me huddled in a corner, staring blankly at an untouched butterbeer and an empty bit of parchment, my quill dripping ink woefully onto the floor, and you came to sit with me, well, I shall never forget it. I recall a sudden sense of relief, as if someone had cast a levitation charm on me, when you told me about how nervous you'd been to come to Hogwarts. I looked at you, and it seemed beyond my imagination to think of you as anything but the confident, contented witch sitting before me. In the days that followed, I marveled at how you charmed, in the non-magical sense, I mean, everyone around you without apology, embracing who you were and who they were. It was as though a candle had flickered on for me. I realized that I could choose that path as well. Now that my school years are ending, the frightened first year which I had been seems worlds away. And I know it's because you saw yourself in that despairing creature in the corner of the pub and so generously extended for yourself to her. Yours sincerely, Mirabelle. 
P.S. Please tell Mrs. Sprottle that I still plan on visiting her and Mr. Sprottle whenever I can for their delightful conversation and, I'm unashamed to admit, her incomparable cauldron cakes. <laughs> hmm. My dear Serona, I've sent a note separately to dear Mr. and Mrs. Sprottle for their hosp hospitality, but felt the need to put quill to parchment with my thanks to you as well. What a lovely respite from the castle. I won't soon forget how we giggled about that ridiculous gnome. Did he truly believe that he was singing? <laughs> and Mrs. Sprottle steak and kidney pie was simply glorious. I shall be dreaming of it for days. I so appreciate you including me. I fear I must warn you, however, that this does not mean I will go easy on you in next week's match. You know that Ravenclaw is no match at all for Slytherin this year. Most grateful yours, Philomena. Dear Serona, happy birthday, my darling friend. I sneaked into the kitchen and asked Finky to make your favorite cream crowdy. She was delighted to oblige. I don't know what that is. I'm not sure where she got raspberries at this time of year. Genius, that Finky. Bess. Dear Mrs. Sprottle, Mother and father were delighted to hear that you and I had spent the afternoon at Gladrex last Saturday. Truth be told, I think my mother was ever so slightly envious. I shan't soon forget how heartily we laughed at my efforts to lace the bodice of my new dress. A challenge indeed. As is the rather delicate practice of properly situating a head pin without wounding either my head or my head. But I adore everything that we selected, and I have you to thank for now, like a marvelously fashionable witch. It was also a treat to dine at the three broomsticks without having to clear the tables. I shall own a place like that one day, mark my words. I consider myself more than lucky that you and Mr. Sprottle agreed to let me stay. I know that my parents feel precisely the same way. You're gracefully, Sirona. I think that's everything. Serona will be glad to have this back. I should take this box of letters to Serona. She'll be glad to have it back. Serona said I could have a little peek, <laughs> reading the things. I think when I'm at this level, I find trolls to be so fun to fight. I even just stick to basic casts and speed rolls when needed. And I call it trolling trolls. <laughs> I see what you mean, yeah. But I really enjoy doing the, um, trying to do really good, fast ways of, of fighting everything. Learning the weak spots and then perfecting everything and stuff. No, I'm not gonna fight you over and over. Oh, oh, oh. Have to run the rest. Minus 32 degrees Celsius here today. That is very cold. Where are you from again? That is hella cold. Minus 25 was the coldest I ever experienced. Minus 32. Sheesh. You, are you in the north of Sweden? <laughs> are you neighbors with Jonna Jinton? I'm coming. Surround, I'm coming. Almost there. Mm. Hi. Hello, Serona. I have good news. I was able to provide your friend Mrs. Sprottle with some hawk clumps for her Wiganweld potion, and I found your box of letters. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. I knew you were the one to ask. May I ask you about the letters in the box? I wondered about some of the letters in the box. Of course. It appears most of the letters were from fellow students. I spotted a letter from you to Mrs. Sprottle. You two seem to have a lot of fun together. <laughs> we do. <laughs> she taught me so much during my summers with her and Aiden. I shall be the first to admit that adolescents aren't always the easiest to understand. And not everyone was as kind to me as the Sprottles. But the depth of their kindness, and that of so many of my friends, got me through... <sighs> well, got me through some challenging times to put it mildly. I saw a letter from someone named Mirabel. Is that Professor Garlic? It is. Still one of my dearest friends. <laughs> I know she wouldn't mind you having seen that letter. She and I are of a similar mind. 
especially when it comes to young people. We believe experience to be an invaluable teacher. To borrow a phrase from Mirabelle, it's a joy to see anyone blossom, <laughs> but particularly one who doubted they ever would. One of the letters mentioned Quidditch practice. Did you play? I did. I was the Ravenclaw Seeker for three years. Oh, Merlin's beard. I adore Quidditch. Nothing like the feeling of catching the golden snitch when your team's down by 140 points. I'll never forgive Professor Black for cancelling it this year. I miss cheering for Ravenclaw. I'm glad I could be of help. Mrs. Sprottle sends her best. Don't know what I'd have done without her and Aiden. Thank you, again, for helping her. And for returning this box of letters. It's nice to reflect on good memories. What can I say except you're welcome? When I was in Canada for school, we had record breaking minus 60 degrees Celsius. I'm from the Caribbean. Oh my God. So you're probably freezing your feet off. Uh, Crowdy is a type of Scottish cream cheese. Cream Crowdy is a mix of the cheese, cream and oatmeal. Uh, typically served with raspberries. So cheese and oatmeal? That's an Peculiar mix. The Tale of Roland Oaks. Talk to Adelaide Oaks is probably in Hogwarts, right? Uh -huh. Oh, we have some quests in here. Yay, let's go. I'm gonna try the Hall of Herodiana. Sophronia Franklin seems like she could use my help. She's near Charms class. That one is not listed on my quest list, so I'm gonna pick that one up real quick. The good part is, once it gets that cold, it doesn't feel much different. If it gets even more cold, just freeze faster. Oof. Lumos. Hi. If I could have a moment of your- Can I help you? I believe you can. I'm Sophronia, by the way. And I need help from someone who's at least a fifth year. Are you familiar with Herodiana Byrne? Don't answer that. Of course you're not. No one seems to know of her but me. She's only the single greatest Depulso master of all time. Even taught at Hogwarts, briefly. She sounds fascinating. She doesn't sound that impressive. Uh... How interesting. I'm amazed I've never heard of her. It's a travesty she's not more well known. I often read about great witches in my limited free time. There are many. Whilst reading about her, I learned that she built a secret to Pulso training room here at Hogwarts. But in typical clever Herodiana fashion, one cannot access it unless one knows to Pulso, which of course, third years aren't taught. And you're a third year, so... Quick one, aren't you? According to what I've read, her signature outfit may still be there. I would love to see it. Would you get Herodiana's signature outfit and show it to me? How did Herodiana Byrne become famous by casting De Polso? She once saved orphans from a wild graffhorn by banishing it over Stonehenge. That's on Salisbury Plain. She once banished a meddlesome dark wizard all the way to Durmstrang while she was in the Alps. That one may have been exaggerated, but lots of the stories about her certainly aren't. That is quite the De Polso. What happened to her on Herodiana Byrne? What ended up happening to Herodiana Byrne? In her later years, she taught at Hogwarts, but only for a short while. Just long enough to build a secret hall, it appears. Then one day, she just disappeared. Some say she actually Oof. banished herself. No one knows for sure. Such is life. Poof. If you tell me where to go, I'll see what I can do about it. Simply go to the Hall of Herodiana. It's at the base of the Defense Against the Dark Arts Tower. There, you'll find a series of Depulso puzzles, concealing pieces of Herodiana's ensemble. Very well. I shall let you know if I find anything. I can't wait to see Herodiana's famous ensemble. Perhaps I'll make myself a copy. Revelio. Suppose I should look for that secret hall Sophronia told me about. It does sound interesting. It does, doesn't it? How do I get to this chest? Okay, I don't know. 
<laughs> okay, find the entrance to the Hall of Herodiana. Revelio. This is bothering me. <laughs> Man. All these all these chests that I can't get to because I don't know how to get there. Oh, oh, maybe I found something. <gasps> oh, hang on. Things are good with me, thank you for asking. I'm having a blast playing through this game again. Wow, big chest. Possible classroom games. Levitation lesson. Encourage students to levitate blocks through raised hoops or similar. Disarm and dodge. Hone expelliarmus and reflexes. Targets on a tangent. Back to basics with casting practice on targets and chanted to move quickly. <laughs> Can I go up here? Oh, you get on the roof here. Oh, <gasps> that's the bloody chest. You're. Oh, there's another one. Oh, 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 oh. Open up. Wait a minute. Is this what I think it is? Is this the prisoner of Azkaban little thingy where Sirius was held captive for a bit? Are we on some kind of? Hang on a minute. Is that supposed to be it? I think it is, right? Lumos. The cell where he was? Must be, huh? And then they flew away together. All three of them were on... on. Buckbeak. Oh, oh, wow, oh, camera go wee! <laughs> this is the law, what? <laughs> Even further down, all right. Oh god, man, I hope I won't. I hope I have enough uh, brain capacity today to actually do one of these puzzles. It's like always, sometimes, some days I'm really fast with puzzles and some days I'm just like incredibly slow. Depending on how tired I am, how well I slept, and all those things. Uh huh, so I guess that's how you do it. This must be the entrance to the Hall of Herodiana. No, sorry, I cut her off. Sorry. <laughs> Hall of Herodiana. Better go inside and find those puzzles. Revelio. Herodiana Burns is as good as Sophronia said she was. So, what do you do? I see. The switch reset everything. Good to know. Ah, okay. But I still don't know what I gotta do. What's my goal up there? There's something up here, I want to check it out. Okay. Yeet! That chest looks interesting. That wasn't too hard. I wonder what's next. Okay, so the goal is actually literally just to get up there. Um. Okay, 
Okay, you can't do that. Can I combine these so I can get these out? Hang on, for this I think I should... I think it's literally just a pulsar, right? Can't do anything else other than the pulsar? I think that was stupid. Hang on, where's the reset button? No, I can't really do anything with these. Hmm. I don't think Accio's gonna work. Oh, it is gonna work! Well. Okay. But it's- it's- it's the Deposal Puzzle. How is the Deposal Puzzle gonna- How- why? Oof. <laughs> how is- how is Accio working then? Hang on, this was- the, that didn't work out. So... Hang on, let me- I have an idea. I'm still. <laughs> oh no. Darn it. Can I push this now? No. <clears throat> okay, hang on. Could I. Push you up here. Get you out there. And then push you there. The blocks hurt. Yeah, I realized that. <laughs> oh, wait, there's loot up there as well that I missed. All right. Cheese it. Oops. Whoops. That hurt. Uh, where was I? I'm sorry, David. Hang on, so technically, I wanted to be in this corner there, but I don't think I can do that. Really. to get up there but I <laughs> you know you completed this twice now well I know but this is not what I want to do I want to get up there you know I know that I could then when I get this over there I could eat it over here technically and then climb up there but I, d I need to go up here right I mean d don't we try to get all the chests as well is, this, is that not what we try to do I would eat this here now. Then I could. No, that's not it. No, this is even further away. Bloody hell. Hang on, let me. No, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to. Okay. 
No! I wanted to get this in this direction. I technically, I think I need to get it in this particular corner if I want to jump over there. But I don't know how to get this... Get it to do that. I mean, she can't climb up two of these boxes, right? So sh she could go up there. Yeah. Why don't you grab it? <laughs> hmm. Oh. Wrong button. Could I depulse of this bad boy even further? No, so once they're stuck together, they're stuck together, right? Guys, could you please stop with the solutions in the chat? I don't- I'm not asking for help. Let me- let me figure this out. I know I could just get out, but I don't want to get out. I want to- I want to get over to the chest. I don't know if I could change the- I think since they're- they're stuck- Hang on, let me reset that. Hang on. Maybe I can form you in a different way. More to my liking. It's just considering my, my move again. Now, if I move you now over there... That's the wrong spell. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That's what I wanted to do. Oh, shit, nuggets. Oh, shit, oh, camera. <sighs> okay, now we can move on with our lives. <laughs> Come on, go down. Go down, bloody hell. Another chest. I think I'm getting the now. Just one left. Okay, I need to get a vantage point to know what I'm doing here. No! Crap. I clicked the wrong button. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Wait, why can't I push you over there? Okay. I got it. Oh, dang. So I have to kind of do it from the other side. If I want to get the loot chest, that is. Which, of course, we want to. Duh. Okay, um, then can I also use it? Oh, no, I can't. Okay. No, that's not right. How do 
do I get over there? Dang it. Do you think I can make that jump? Oh, crap. <laughs> Well, maybe I can do it from down here then. <laughs> I shall get my loot. To reverse this again. Um, yeah, I have to go down there. I fear. I fear. Whoosh. 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 No, actually. Oof. Uh, hang on. I need to get here again, so... Um... in there again no, that won't do me any good <laughs> hi guys welcome in um, I basically need to move this one one block further technically Wait a minute. Does it consider the box to be opened? Yeah, it does, right? That could help, technically. Yeah, okay, so now... If I'm not mistaken... I just... Akio... Proposo... <laughs> then Akio uh, Okay What now? I mean I kind of need to get here, right? But can I operate this thing still from here? With the angle and all? Probably not, right? Hmm. Okay, I can't do this. And you can't oppose it either. Operated anymore from here.
Do you think I could stand on this thing? Hmm, it doesn't help me though. <laughs> Considering all my choices right now. I was thinking if I could maybe connect it to here, you know, from here and then here. I don't know if I could do that. I don't think I could. like a Zelda shrine? I've never played Zelda. I don't know. Maybe? <laughs> the issue is that when I get to places I can't operate it anymore. Because it's stuck then. Can't jump over there. It's too far away. I know I can use Akio. I don't know where I need to position the thing and how to get that. I I got over there. But then what? <laughs> and that that is not a. Please tell me the solution. That is a. I'm just letting you know what I'm thinking right now. Where does the thing start? Does it start over there? <gasps> oh wait, I can pull it! I always think I'm falling down. <laughs> it is remarkable. No wonder Sophronia wanted to see this. I always forget that I could reset and use that to my advantage. I'm always thinking like I have to move them instead of <laughs> resetting and then having it in a location where it actually is beneficial to me. <laughs> I always forget about that. All right. Hi, honey. Welcome in. You! It took us three days to find your brother, and your mother almost squashed him first. You know how much she hates dung beetles? Ah, but I bet that's why you did it, eh? Well, let's see how much you like being turned into an insect next time you test my temper! And the way they just move on with their lives. What? Oh, okay. It's just spinning one of these globes. So I had to meet so many messages. It's fine. It's nothing personal, guys, but I... Especially with puzzles, I try to... Um, do them myself if I can. And if I want help and I need help with a solution, then I usually ah. ask you guys. And then you will know that I really want help. <laughs> Wait, is this, is this chest on this floor? Yeah, it is. 
I haven't opened this one yet. Liz. Bloody hell. All right, three and zero, so I need two. So I need the graphon, this one. Uh, 12, so four and one, five. So eight, spooder. Was my math wrong? Seven! Oops! <laughs> yep, math was wrong. Oops. Whoops! Hello, chest. Is that the room of the Thestrals? Which is my Patronus, by the way. Revelio. Oh, there's more chests over here. Alohomora. This is not opening things and missing loot. She's slacking. Oh. Have you played this game? This is, there's so much to do and so easy to get distracted. I often find myself doing one thing and then getting sidetracked like multiple times. Can't carry any more Wigan World potions. Ah, okay. Dear Professor Shah, thank you for your recent submission regarding celestial anomalies. It may be a perfect, con perfect addition to an atlas I am hoping to publish. I shall be in touch if you decide to include your submission or any of its related research in the publication. Best wishes, MPN Carneris. Carneris. Alohomora. Ah. Has there been anything that really surprised you in the second and third playthrough? In the second, no, because in the, s the second I literally almost directly played after... Rebellion. This is gonna bother me. There's a chest and I can't pick it up because this is a Wigan Weld potion and I'm never running out of Wigan Weld potion. Can I drop a potion? Can you drop stuff from your inventory? Like potions? Can you do that? Darn it! So there will always be this one chest that I... Can somebody hurt me, please? <laughs> please! Oh, she's above, okay. You have to hurt yourself, but how? I don't know how. Tell me how. <laughs> Wait, am I going in the right direction or not? Path not available. Fall damage? Hmm. I never know what to say when I write. Yeah, there she is. Sophronia, I solved all the puzzles in the Hall of Herodiana. Incredible! Then you found Herodiana's outfit. May I see it? Yes. Of course. Behold. Oh, how grand! You'll look as majestic as Herodiana herself. The greatest Depulso master of all time. You're my second favorite hero! <gasps> Aww, that was cute. She's fangirling. Mm -hmm. I think you can sell potions as well, but the Wiganwell potion? Have you used the unforgivable curses in your playthrough? I guess that answers the question. Sometimes I'm not 
All right, we have more quests here. This one. The Tale of Roland Oaks. All right. And there's something here as well. <gasps> oh, dear. Summoner's Court Match 2. Let's go. <laughs> oh, God. That quest. Oh, dear. Oh dear. Ha. Samantha Hello, who? Samantha. Are you here for Summoner's Court? I am. Dale. Oh, I'm her. actually rather good at it. Used to play all the time with my brother until... Oh, never mind. Shall we begin? Until what? Yes, I'm ready to play. Then until let's you get killed summoning. him in cold blood? Oh no. Akio. Ay. Akio. Oh no, I pulled too hard. Dang it. You'll have to do better than that. Yeah, I know. Akio. I let I let go too late. You're absolutely right. Yes. <laughs> yes. That was sensational. Thanks. Akio. Yes. <laughs> hmm. won't do. A rematch then. Tied. Okay. Good match. Care to have another go? Yes. But of course. Splendid. I hate that they're always standing in the way. Meryl, thank you so much for the 50 bucks. What the hell? Thank you so much. Wow, we are guys. We have a massive donation. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, if you use exclamation mark song list, you can see the songs that you can pick from and I can sing the song. Might you Free be you. able to move a bit more quickly? Y yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, ma'am. Thank you so much, Meryl. That was sensational! Akio! Yes! Yes! <laughs> Thank you, Maru. Uh... <sighs> How am I to top that? Akio. Wow, that was 50? Cool. Don't you bonk my balls. Ma'am? Ma'am? Yeah. 
Not the best, but I was scared that I would be <sighs> ruining my How own. am I to top that? You're that not. Settles it then. <laughs> I've won. <laughs> Nice, we did it! After your poor show against Natty in class, I thought I could beat you. It appears I overestimated myself. You play well. You underestimated me. The poor show against Natty. I beat Natty. Thought I could beat you. Hmm. Don't say that, Samantha. You're a fine player. Well, that's very kind of you. Let's just say, if I'm good, then you're better. I happen to know who you're up against next, and she's no shy opponent. Best of luck. Thanks. <laughs> what now? Ooh, very close to another level, guys. Okay, so the next quest is this one, The Tale of Roland Oaks. Can I fast travel there now? Here, and then it's here. Can we just fast travel from there, maybe? I love mini games like this in games. I often get more intrigued. <laughs> intrigued! In those in the actual game. Hmm. Yeah, some, some side missions are really nice, right? Depending on the game and the side mission. Uh, I'm just gonna say Gwent. <laughs> Hello, Adelaide. I received your owl. Thank you for coming. You see, my uncle Roland is a metal trader who's quite well known in the goblin community. Okay. He normally sends me owls every week when he's on his business travels. In his last owl, he alluded to dealings with those radical goblins, Ranrock's loyalists. It's been ages since that owl and I'm worried. What with the troll attack on Hogsmeade and the rumors that goblins may have been involved, well, I'm fearing the worst. Should I be worried about my uncle, or am I overthinking this? I would be worried. I think you're right to be concerned, Adelaide. Your uncle may be in trouble. You're much more understanding than Professor Weasley. She heard I was going to look for him and forbade me from leaving the grounds. Sunday fog. She's convinced he can handle himself, but I can't concentrate on anything until I know he's all right. I... Ugh. Could you try to find out for me? From what I hear, you're almost as adventurous as Uncle Roland. Can you tell me more about your uncle's business with goblins? Has your uncle traded with many goblins? Yes, for ages. Even speaks gobbledygook. But he only recently mentioned... Ranrock's lot. <gasps> Insisting the galleons were worth the risk. He does it for me. Between robes and supplies, attending Hogwarts costs a fair sickle. And besides that, Uncle Roland has expensive taste. He's sacrificed so much for me over the years. I promised him that as soon as I finish Hogwarts, I shall be the one taking care of him. I take it you and your uncle are close. We are. My mother died when I was born. Aww. And I lost my father when I was five. God. Uncle Roland's looked after me for as long as I can remember. He knows I get anxious when he travels and that's why he sends me all the owls. To let me know that he's all right. I'll see what I can learn. I'll try and look into it for you, Adelaide. Thank you. He's very thorough in his record keeping. Notes all his trades in a journal, makes maps. In fact, in his last owl, he drew me a map of his next stop. He planned to set up camp north of here. I do hope you're able to find out where he is. Thank you again for any help you can provide. You're welcome. I hope Adelaide's uncle Roland is alright. She seems very worried. Adelaide mentioned her uncle's camp may be near Brockborough, past the river. Let's go. Relatively new but enjoying your streams. Thanks. Trying to place your accent. Is it okay to ask where you originally hail from? I am originally from northern Germany, the Danish border, and my accent is a wild mix of all the English that I listened to while I was learning English. So I was mostly learning pronunciations from movies and shows and YouTubers as well. Um, and of course, not every YouTuber is from the UK or from America or Australia, so they also have an accent. So, um, 
you know, so sometimes some pronunciations are just like a wild mix of all these different accents that I learned from. <laughs> Um, so I don't sound like a typical German. Could this be Mr. Oaks's campsite? Renrog's loyalists, just ahead. Hmm, should I take them by force or be discreet? I also try to be a bit more, uh, going for like a British pronunciation with a hard T, for example. A bit posh, you know? I've already been here very thoroughly. Investigate the campsite to find a clue. Rebellion. Roland Oak's journal. Mr. Oh. Oak's trade journal. Renrock's lot agreed to meet, but I do feel a tad uneasy. They amended their requests and were angry when I asked questions. I overheard some of their plan in gobbledygook. They're after my rare metal deposits that are suitable for drilling. I'm afraid of upsetting them further. They seem rather volatile, and I need this transaction to happen. Perhaps we can work out a compromise. Perhaps not, Roland. Uh oh, Roland. Adelaide said that her uncle kept notes of his trades, maps. Perhaps these landmarks will lead me to him. So I follow the river towards the east, right? Here's north, there's east. So from here towards the river. No, wait, this is where we start, right? Oops, never mind. <laughs> I thought this is... Um, okay, so, no. Uh, towards the south river and then towards the west. The river. I hope this is the river. And then towards the west. A rock formation. That's the first landmark on this map. Now, to find the crooked tree. Oh, hello. The ministry ought to loosen the reins on the dark arts. No better protection. <laughs> Is that the... Never mind. Yeah, yeah, you keep on toading and frogging and stuff. You do your thing. Hmm. A castle. Must have been quite stately in its time. What do we have here? Goodness, not a party to attend by myself. Yes, it is. Into the goblin outpost, so this is where I needed to go. Okay, cool. Hmm, I may have more luck higher up in the keep. Hi, a ladder. That's what I need. <laughs> no! Somewhere in the background. No, you won't. What? What are you doing? Who's doing this? Uh, darn it. How do I get up there? <laughs> More room flying? Alright. Hi. 
Oh. Hey, wait, he has, he has loot. He has loot. Where did the loot go? Uh, wig and melt potion. Screw the bloody wig and melt potions. <gasps> oh, there's a troll, guys. Boogies. <laughs> Enter the goblin outpost, but where? Where's the where 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 are we talking about? What are we talking about? Which where? Who? Brewing, and I'm without my friends. Enter the goblin outpost. Am I wrong here? <laughs> Hello, sir. You had a chest there? It was already looted. I've been here earlier. See, everything is already looted. Unless there was a new one? Or was it here? This one is not a chest. It's just an object that you can move so you can access stuff. Did you mean this one? This is already looted. Ah. What? Why did I just slip and fall? <laughs> what? Making it hit itself is trolling the troll. Yeah, I love it. It's so fun. Enter the goblin outpost. Where? Where? What? <laughs> Guys, am I wrong here? Rebellia. Come on, get up. Oh, little mouse. Hi. Oh. I, I. <sighs> this is the spot on the map. I'd best have my wits about me. Ha. Aha, uh -huh, so this is the quest that I've... Uh, so we got here earlier today already, Coral Ruins. We've already done everything. I think. This was a suggest. This was the location oh, I was I suggesting the other day when you were looking for trolls. Tr trolls? Ah, <laughs> trolls. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Yeah, this is pretty nice. For troll boogie, I've I've got so much though by now. Leviosa. I'll kill you when I get. <laughs> I won't rest until you're dead. <laughs> Boom! It looks as though Adelaide's instincts were spot on. You only have Ranrock to blame. change the is there something like game uh, gameplay options aha there it is it's getting too easy I think I want to try <laughs> I mean I already played it in, in hard mode once but I'm I always have way too much Wigan well potion so might as well be able to uh, loot some some more Wigan Well potion by using them. Uh, hello. Rebellion. Did I come from here? Oh, this is the exit, right? Oops. Do you ever play with stealth? Sometimes, but not that often. I'm really enjoying just running in there and blasting everybody to bits. <laughs> it's fun. Is it this way? Or is this the exit now? I'm so confused. Uh huh. Word is worthless. This prisoner owes us the metal we were promised. Red Rock will be the stop it. How nice of you to stop it. No! Send 
I will make you pay. This is where you will I'll get away with that. You sure about that? Ha! Finally. <laughs> okay, this is where I need to go. And I think I, I've been everywhere already here earlier. Hi. Hello. Mr. Oaks? Yes, I'm here. They've taken my wand. This cell has an enchanted lock. I have experience with these locks, but I need my wand if I have any chance of opening it. Look for a boiler door. I've heard them speak of it. I need to find Mr. Oaks's wand. Where could it be? There. I just have intuition that it's right there. I just had this feeling, you know. Hello, Rebellion. How intriguing. This must be Mr. Oaks's wand. Perhaps now he can set himself free. We shall see. Is this the way? Yeah. Hello. Such arrogance. No, not this one. Why don't you come up here? Man, I'm trying to do this. I won't rest. Making really good progress. We've killed so many goblins at this point. Revelia. All right, sir. I've got your wound. How convenient that there's this this gab. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, he's just walking out. You did it! Oh, you found my wand and... Wait, you're a student? Yup. Oh, we must get you to safety immediately. It's dangerous. Bruh. It's all right, Mr. Oaks. I've dealt with these goblins before. Dear Merlin, you're either very lucky or very talented. Well, how did you find me? I'm a friend of Adelaide's. She was worried about your business with Van Rock's loyalists. Oh, she was right to be. I couldn't go through with the agreement, and when I told them, I ended up blindfolded and behind bars. I... Been locked in that infernal cell for so long, they'd forgot I was even there. They overheard things. Ooh. If only I could reward you for what you've done. Blasting goblins stole every canut on me. All I can say is thank you. Truly. Back in the cell with you. No loot, no reward. Get back in there. You mentioned you overheard things. <sighs> Sad tale, really. I think I know where Ramrock's unfortunate vendetta against Wizardkind began. Although dragon breeding was outlawed by the Warlocks Convention of 1709, Ranrock stumbled upon an illegal dragon camp. Mm. He was young, found the creatures fascinating. He'd visit the camp in secret whenever he could, never making his presence known. After weeks of sly surveillance, he finally summoned the courage to speak to the wizard in charge. Ranrock wanted to join them and the creatures. 
The wizard happened to drop his wand. Ranrock saw an opportunity. He picked it up, went to hand it back as a, a means of introducing himself. The sight of a goblin with a wand sent the wizard into an instant rage. He beat Ranrock nearly to death. Ever since, Ramrock has despised wizard kind, sees us all as cruel. Am I right that you speak gobbledygook? Unbeknownst to Ramrock's fiends, I do. I've always had an affinity for goblin culture. Knew I wanted to be a metal trader ever since I was a lad. It wasn't easy learning the language. It's, it's complex. And my memory's as weak as my knees these days. <laughs> but after decades working with fine goblin folk, I grew fairly proficient. At least, I'd like to think so. Okay. I'm grateful I was able to help you, Mr. Oaks. Adelaide thinks the world of you. Oh, and I her. She's become quite savvy to my trading habits, always analyzing my detailed owls. Oh, if only I hadn't resorted to trading with such fiends. A lesson I shan't soon forget. Good. Having my wand back is like being reunited with an old friend. I must return home and inform Adelaide of my safety. Will you be all right? I'll be fine, Mr. Oaks. You get back to Adelaide. I assure you, her worries outweigh yours. Oh, I'm anxious to see my dear niece. And then I plan to travel far from here for my next round of trading. Thank you. May life reward you justly for your deeds. Be well, my friend. You're welcome. Mr. Oaks was lucky. Ranrock's lot would never have freed him. In my first playthrough, he... He left, but he was also still standing in here. <laughs> it was funny. <gasps> oh man, I st I'm still not using the cabbages and stuff. Silly me. Okay, let me put one point more into this. And then we got only also gonna got this get this one. And then later the, the rest is going to be used on the dark arts, I guess. Although there's probably some really cool ones for, for spells. Oh, this one. I want this one. Must be able to cast Bombarda. I don't have Bombarda yet, so there's still spells that I need to learn. Oh, are they back? Have they respawned? Yoink. Yoink. Uh, this should be the exit, I guess. Maybe. Potentially. I love the funk from the anvil there. Donk. <laughs> yeah, the sounds are funny. It's level 41 max. Should be, yeah. Right? Or at least you shouldn't get any more um, skill points then. Nice, guys. Alright. Do we have more quests? The Elf, the Knapsack, and the Loom. In the shadow of the estate. Well, well, well. Alright, guys. I think we will continue here on Friday. I sadly have to go now. Oh, man. I'm, I'm looking forward a lot to continuing with these quests. This one, I feel I know what it, this is going to be about, if I remember correctly. But I don't want to spoil anything for you guys who haven't played this or seen this. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this today. I had a lot of fun. We completed a lot in the map here. We've been going around and clearing all these camps and doing as many of Merlin trials as we could. And with that, unlocking all the gear slots, opening some places. And it was, it was fun. I really like to do these completionist kind of things. There's a few that popped up now that we were flying around and using Revelio more often. So still a bit more to do. This one I couldn't do because uh, this is in a main quest area, I think. More will await us on Friday. Yeah.